I don't say it all. Okay, so we were dealing with the lesson elasticity of demand, and we have uh, completed the chapter. We have studied the exceptions, the assumptions, the factors affecting, isn't it? The theory portion is over. Today we will do the numericals. There are like, problems of finding out elasticity of demand and all. So today we will do the those questions. Okay, the numerical questions we will solve today. Like a percentage method of price elasticity of demand. Write the heading. Write the heading. Percentage method. Write the heading. Percentage method. All of you are supposed to do. I will ask the answer. Okay, of the problem. I will allot you some two three minutes. After that, I will ask the answer. Percentage method. According to this method, according to this method, elasticity is measured. Elasticity is measured as the ratio, as the ratio of, as the ratio of. Yeah. Can you complete it, Shiva? As the ratio of what is percentage method of price elasticity? Do you remember the formula? What is the formula of E D? Quantity demand upon percentage change yeah. in price. Yeah, so that is the ratio between. So it is measured as the ratio of percentage change in the quantity demanded, right? Percentage change in the quantity demanded. Percentage change in the price. Percentage change in the price. Then write the formula below. Ed is equal to. Ed is equal to. Percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price. Okay, so even the question, the percentage change is given, you don't want to find it out. Percentage change is given. And if the percentage change is not given, you have to find out the percentage change. How will you find out the percentage change? Change in quantity upon the initial quantity into 100. Change in quantity upon initial quantity into 100, that's the percentage change. Do you want to write it? Percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to equal to change in quantity change in quantity upon initial quantity into 100. That is this delta Q upon Q into 100. Then now you write what is the percentage change in price? What is the percentage change in price? Then connect. What is the formula for percentage change in price? The same way. Yeah, Samba. Ma'am, can I tell? Yeah. Delta P upon P into 100. Yeah, exactly. That is change in price upon original price into 100. That is delta P upon P into 100. Yeah. 
good very good So I will give you a problem. Yeah, write a question. Write a question. Calculate, calculate price elasticity of demand. Calculate price elasticity of demand. If demand increases from, if demand increases from, Four units to five units. Four units to five units. Due to fall in price. Due to fall in price from rupees ten to rupees eight. From rupees ten to rupees eight. So here increases from so what is the initial price sorry initial quantity four this changed to five then from rupees ten so initial price is ten and p one the change to price is eight yeah do it do it. You have the formula. You have all the things. You have uh, the initial Q, Q1. What is Q1? The change to quantity. Initial price is P. And the change to price is P1. Percentage change in quantity demanded. Very good. People started giving me the answer. The answer is coming in the chat box. Good. First of all, what you have to find out? Very good. Shibam, very good. Yeah, so that means many of you have what the answer, that means the time is over, right? So first of all, you have to find out the percentage change in quantity demanded. Please listen to others, those who have done also. Percentage change in quantity demanded is the first thing we have to find, find out. So what is percentage change in quantity demanded? Change in quantity upon initial quantity into 100. What is the change in quantity? 5 minus 4. What is the change in quantity? 5 minus 4. Upon what is initial quantity? 4 into 100. Because percentage you have to. So what is the percentage you got? Percentage change in quantity? Kanak? Am I audible to you? What is the percentage change in quantity demanded? Kanak? Unmute yourself and speak better. Kanak? What happened? Why you are coming on this? Okay, why? Yeah. Anna? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is the percentage change in quantity demanded? 5 minus 4 upon 4 into 100. That means what? Yes, way, what is the percentage? 25. Yeah, 25 percentage. That's the answer. That's not the answer. That is the I main answer of percentage change in quantity demanded. Next, what you have to find out? Percentage change in price. Percentage change in price. So the price has changed. It was initial was 8. From there, it has come to 10. That means 8 minus 10 upon 10 into 100. What is the initial price? 10. So change in price upon initial price into 100. That is 8 minus 10 upon 10 into 100. 
so that what is the answer of that what is the percentage change in price Aksha, are you there yes ma'am yeah what is the answer of that percentage change in price ma'am please repeat once again beta percentage change in price is equal to change in price upon initial price into 100 did you write yes ma'am then what is the change in price here 8 minus 10 that means initial price is 8 then it has come to 10 so 8 minus 10 upon 10 into 100 so what is the percentage change in price um, can i tell yeah who i couldn't minus yeah that's hmm? uh, minus 20 minus 20 percentage because it is 8 minus 10 minus 20 percentage so you put what is the formula for uh, elasticity of demand, Dershna, Dershna? What is the formula for uh, elasticity of demand? Ma'am, delta Q upon delta P into P upon Q. Okay, that means uh, percentage change in quantity demanded because now you are doing it in the direct way. You have found out like uh, the two factors. Percentage change in quantity demanded and percentage change in price. So it is the percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price into 100. So here, what you got in the quantity demanded percentage 25 upon 20 into 100 minus 20 into 100. So what is the answer? What is the answer? Minus. Minus 1.25. Yeah, 1.25. That is the answer. Many of you have given the answer within two minutes. I'm very happy. Okay. So this is the thing. There's a negative sign, right? But it is implied. You don't want to. If you put also there, it's no problem. You don't want to. Even though the sign is not there, you know the elasticity, the price elasticity has an inverse relation, right? There is an inverse relation between the price and the quantity demanded. So it is implied the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is always a negative number. So you can ignore negative sign also. You can ignore the negative sign. So you put it better. Okay, because for math mathematic purpose, if you ignore also no problem because always there is an inverse relation between what and what price and quantity demanded i i hope if anyone has any problem please those who couldn't couldn't get the answer yeah who is there Ma can you explain what who is speaking varsha vaishnavi vaishnavi okay better definitely see let me one second What is the question? I will read the question once again then. Calculate the price elasticity of demand if demand increases from 4 units to 5 units due to a fall in price from 10 to 8. This is the question. And you know elastic, elasticity of demand is percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price. In the question, you, you are given if from 4 to 5 it has changed quantity and the price has changed from rupees 10 to 8. You are not given the percentage change. So we have to find out what first. We have to find out the percentage change. That means in the case of quantity, it has changed from 4 to 5. 4 to 5. That means initial quantity is 4. You write Q is 4. And what is the change quantity? Q1 is 5. Q is 4 and Q1 is 5. And what is the formula for percentage change in quantity demanded? Change in quantity upon its initial quantity into 100. What is the change in quantity here, Vaishnavi? Vaishnavi change in quantity is 4 minus 5. Sorry? What is the change in quantity? 
मैम वाई शुड वाई वी शुड है हमने माइनस क्यों किया बेटा चेंज ये फोर हैज चेंज टू फाइव व्हाट इज द चेंज इन क्वांटिटी फाइव वन वन यूनिट यस मैम व्हाट इज द यूनिट ऑफ चेंज फाइव वन वन यूनिट इज द चेंज राइट earlier it was 4 and now it is 5 so that means what is the change what is the difference means change means the difference i should be understood yes ma'am so that is the change in quantity so if 4 becomes 5 what is the change in quantity 1 1 okay what is the initial quantity 4 4 by 100 yes, by 100 you have to Find it out in percentage form. So five minus four into hundred. Now what did you get? What did you get? One just a What is the percentage you got? Five minus four upon four into hundred. That is one point four into hundred. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, twenty five. Likewise, you have to find out the percentage change in price also. Percentage change in price. That means what is the change in price? From eight it has come to ten. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, what is it? Um, do it. I will wait. Give you one more minute. Do it. Minus twenty. Minus twenty. What percentage? Percent. Minus twenty percentage. Now you put it in the formula of elasticity of demand. Elasticity of elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price. What is the percentage change in quantity demanded? You have uh, you got it as twenty five, yes, and the I other you got it as twenty. Mm -hmm. Solve it. Twenty five upon twenty. We solve it. Minus five by four. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Minus five upon four. Okay, make it in decimal form. One point two five. Yes, ma'am. One point two five. One point two five. One point two five. Okay, I'm presenting my screen now. One of you have to, Deshna, you have to navigate me and tell me if I am like, uh, if it is not seen. You just hold. Deshna, can you see a board over there? Deshna. Yes, ma'am. Can you see my board, white board? Yes, ma'am. I can see. Okay. What is it written? Please uh, read. What is it written about? Is it legible? Uh, sorry. Um, proportionate method. Uh, okay. Proportionate method. Okay. That means you can read it. Proportionate method. Okay. Now the next heading is proportionate method. Right. Proportionate method. Okay, for easy calculation, we can change this percentage method can be converted into proportionate method. The concept is same. The concept is exactly same. 
for the ac calculation we can change or convert it into what method proportionate method and what is proportionate method you see what is the formula of ed change in quantity demanded percentage change in quantity upon percentage change in price isn't it percentage change in quantity upon percentage change in price this is the formula of ed ed is equal to i haven't written ed is equal to i will write it now ed is equal to percentage change in uh, ed is equal to yeah percentage change in quantity upon percentage change in price now you just see what is percentage change in quantity percentage change in quantity is equal to delta q upon q into 100 that means change in quantity what do you mean by delta q change in quantity upon initial quantity into 100 so for this numerator this factor for this one i have put the equation here what is percentage change in quantity delta q upon q into 100 i hope you understood it deshna yes ma'am understood yes ma'am next the next factor we will take in the denominator percentage change in price what is the formula we have studied for percentage change in price you know change in price upon the initial price into 100 this one change in price upon the initial price into 100 that is delta p upon p into 100 So we are deriving the formula actually. It is now in this form, and you know it is in the fraction form. So if you have to divide a fraction like this, you have to do multiply the reciprocal, right? This hundred and hundred get cancel. Okay, this hundred and hundred we can cancel, and now you can write it as this is like a if this denominator you just write the inverse of this. That means here you can write delta Q upon Q. This you put it as like this for delta P by P. You just write the reciprocal because we are going to divide it. So fraction will be divided by taking the inverse of it. So we will write P P upon delta P. For this we will take the reciprocal because we are multiplying it. So we will write P upon delta P. You don't want to like uh, nobody will ask you to derive it. I'm just showing it. Okay, the exam it will not come. Still, you should know. So see, this is the formula we got now. This is the thing. So now you set it. This is the thing. But see, we will set it in such a way: delta Q upon delta P into P by Q. This, this is the formula. That is. Delta Q on delta P into P by Q. This is the equation for proportionate method. Is the percentage method and proportionate method same? Is it same? No, ma'am. Yes, we have converted now this particular thing into this. We have derived the formula from here itself, isn't it? Now it you will get it as a proportion. That's all. so you can now put this formula directly this is the formula of percentage percentage change in quantity and percentage change in price so we have derived this formula from this only concept is same we have converted it that's all okay yes so what is ed write it what is ed ed is equal to ed is equal to yeah what we have derived there delta q upon delta p into p upon q so this is the formula this is the formula
So can I go ahead? Can I go ahead with the next question now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, good. Is this board visible clearly to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, yes, all right. Thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you. So now I will give you another question. Yeah, write the question. When the price is 10 euro, 10 per unit, when the price is 10 per unit, comma, demand for a commodity is 100 units. See, I am dictating the question because you can go through the question. You can understand the question, that's why. But make it fast. When prices is, price is rupees 10 per unit, demand for commodity is 100 units. As the price holds to rupees 8, as the price holds to rupees 8 per unit, comma, demand expands to 150 units. Demand expands to 150 units, 150. Calculate elasticity of demand. You can do it by any method in the exam if it is not mentioned. So normally we do with this method because it is more easy, less time taking. Okay, you are putting this thing in the same, I mean, uh, all of it, uh, I mean, it here, then you are getting the answer straight away. In the other case, first of all, you have to find out the percentage, then do it. So it is less time taking. So even the question is not mentioned, like mentioned, only elasticity of, elasticity of demand is asked, follow this formula. That is delta Q by delta P into P by Q. So whenever you get the question, first write the things which is given. Here, we have we are given Q and Q1. What is Q1? Q1 means new quantity. Q means original quantity. Q means original quantity. Q is original quantity. Q1 is new quantity. P is original price. P1 is new price. P1 is new price. And what is delta Q? Delta Q means the difference between this. What is delta P? It's the difference between this. Okay. Time over. See. This is not the thing, okay. Let's write this formula. First, write the formula PD is equal to delta Q by delta P into P by Q. So, what is the change in quantity here? The 100 units have changed to 150. So, Q is 100 and the new quantity is 150. That means change in Q, delta Q is equal to 50. Initial price 10, new price 8. That means change in price is equal to minus 2. So substitute it is in formula, change in quantity is equal to 50. Change in P is equal to 2. P 
initial price q quantity so this is the substitution and what is the answer you got what is the answer you got minus 2.5 like okay, i got sorry i hope all of you got this answer otherwise those who haven't please check what happened Okay, moving to the next question. Write the next question. When the price of sugar, when the price of sugar is rupees five per kg, price of sugar is rupees five per kg, and its demand is fifty kg. And its demand is fifty kg. Not if when the price when price of sugar is rupees five per kg, its demand is fifty per kg. Fifty kg. When price rises by five, when price rises by five, what do you mean by when price rises by five? What is the new price? Tell me. Ten. What is the new price? Ten. 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 Exactly. Ten. Very good. When the price rise by five means five is again five rupees. It there is an addition. Okay, that means the new price is ten. What happened? Its demand falls by ten kg. It demand. Falls by ten kg. Tell me what will be the demand? I mean, uh, Q one demands falls by ten kg. That means what will be the new quantity? Forty minus forty. 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 This forty. So these are the things given: initial price, new price, because it is raised by five. It is not raised to five. It is raised by five, and quantity. Raised to, it is decreased by ten. That means forty. So here you will get delta p, and here you will get delta q. So now you have all the things which you have to substitute in the formula. Delta p is five, and delta q is ten. So what is price elasticity? Write the formula. E D E C equal to E D E C equal to delta Q upon delta. Always write the formula. P into P by Q. Substitute it. Delta Q is ten. It's minus ten, isn't it? Okay. It is from fifty. It has come to ten. So you will always have a minus here or here. That's why we ignore it. It will the answer will come in negative because of the inverse relation between demand and price. So here the quantity you will get a minus. What is the answer? Delta Q is minus ten because new quantity minus old quantity is minus ten upon initial quantity. Sorry, this is the price, right? Minus ten by this is the price. Five is the change price into what is the initial price? Five 
upon what will come here q what is the initial quantity 50 so what is the answer how many of you got the answer yes. what is the answer very good very good it's very good very good i think you understood it okay now i am stop presenting and coming So you, so you simply, I mean, uh, understand this formula. Now the next uh, next stage will come like uh, when ED will be given and one of the component that means change in a new price will not be given or new quantity will not be given. So one of the thing they will skip and give you. So you just substitute the formula with whatever available, you will get the missing figure. So that's how we will do the problem. I will send you to homework today. Okay. 